down, but I always had a plan to find another way. Look at me now, I'm a hustle living dream that I have to wear. All right, Billy fam, we're on the road, man. I'm headed to Deldrick House, man. We are about to uh, breed Nikki. For all those who watch my older videos, um, we had a female named Nikki. She was a blue trendle. She was like super stocky. She was a little bit older, but she was always like, she was always the most compact dog on the yard, y'all, and she was super stocky. And, uh, yeah, man, the homie Deldrick bought her off of us. Uh, originally, we were uh, supposed to get a pup back deal along with the sale, but he said he might cash us out, so I don't know. We'll see, man, but um, we did our progesterone test earlier today, man. If y'all watched my last video, I told y'all we was going to do that progesterone test today. Um, and the levels came back at 11.93, I believe. It's on the screen right here. I'm not sure exactly what those numbers said, but yes, sir, man. So that's consistent with the first AI based on my machine. I got the one fo if y'all didn't know, progesterone machine. So um, yeah, man, we caught her right at the perfect time, man. And uh, he has a stud lined up. Uh, I'm not sure the stud's name, but y'all gonna see him right now. He is a Merle Try, Merle and Tan. So uh, yes, sir, man. We're gonna knock this breeding out real quick, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right, Bully fam, we just left uh, from doing that first AI. I couldn't really talk. It was the music was playing real loud. I think it was uh, No Cap and Lil' Jeremy, so you know they was going to copyright that. So, yeah, man, we just knocked out that first AI for Nikki Times Uzi. Y'all seen Uzi, right? That boy's paid was stacked, man. I'm going to uh, see if I can get a picture. Well, no, I probably can't get a picture, but... I just, y'all gotta believe me when I tell you, this man's pet, he got testable cocoa, he got the brown, the brown gene, which is the chocolate gene, and he got, he got try, that boy got tan point, he don't got no pie ball, no brindle, basically bro, he got everything, man, he got everything, man, straight up, so, um, Nikki is a trendle, so, um, I believe this is my prediction. Let's do a prediction on what kind of puppies will come out of there, y'all, uh, without doing the chart and all that. So let's see. Um, he's going to, because we don't know Nikki's uh, DNA test anyway. We don't know what she carries. But judging from what we know, Trilac, I mean, Tri, <laughs> Lilac Trendle. Yeah, man. So I believe we're going to get a, maybe a, a, a non Brindle that could possibly, okay, we're going to definitely get about three Merles. But if we get a non, any non merles, I believe that it's a strong, strong chance that they'll be trendles. You know that means uh, a try with speckles on his tan points, y'all. For y'all new to the channel, man. So, yeah, man. That's my prediction. We gonna see. Uh, yeah, man. I know y'all. I told y'all uh, we ain't got no litters coming, but definitely we gonna help my man sell these litter. I mean these puppies. I'm sorry. So, cause I've been getting, bro, I've been getting so many calls, bro. Y'all have no idea. Like, had I known all y'all was plotting on a puppy like this, I would have made sure that I kept a, an adult, you know what I'm saying? On standby just for y'all, cause, man, feel bad, yo. All these people hitting me, I'm reaching out. Uh, any of my uh, fellow bully breed, I mean, Frenchie breeders, that watch me on uh, YouTube. You got puppies, man. Hit me up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all love, man. You know, we can all help each other sell these puppies. You know, I might have some people calling me that might be interested 
and the puppies. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. That's how it's supposed to go. You feel me? Yes, sir, man. Let me get back to the crib. We doing that second AI tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to ask them. We may possibly do another progesterone test either tomorrow or the next day after. Just so we can guarantee that we hit her on the right days. You dig? So, yeah, man. Y'all stay tuned. I'm probably add all that to this one video. So, yes, indeed, man. I'll see y'all tomorrow, man. All right? Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. All right, y'all, man. It's man. It's early as hell right now. I just dropped my son off at school. Um, I'm at Ray's feed store, y'all. I'm about to go get some permethrin. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all don't know what that is, it's like a, a insecticide. I would say it kills a bunch of you know bugs, anything like that. I like to use it to spray around the crib on the grass and stuff, and uh, it takes takes a minute. I say like a day. I'm gonna wait like a day before you let the dogs out. But uh, this is also used when you go give your dog a flea bath, when you get them dipped, they also use this too, man. But uh, I'm not using it for that. But uh, yeah, man, I just wanna, you know, when the, the weather come out and then it rain and get more, cause it rained real bad yesterday, it started getting moist with the heat. You start getting serious mosquitoes, you get, you know, you might get ticks depending how far in the country you are. You might get fleas from your neighbors, all that, so. Yeah, man, we're going to hold the yard down, man. Yes, sir. Let's get it. boy has got big dog food. Okay, man, I love Ray's, man. This is my favorite feed store right here, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. I love it. You know what I mean? Because I really, I don't got no spot like this in Cali, man. I cannot. Nah, it ain't no. That do got feast. No, I'm lying. They do, but it's way, it's way like out in the boonies. If y'all familiar with him in California, they got a lot of feast store that I like to fuck with, man. But yes, sir. All right, what we here for? We here for that good permethrin, good pesticides. Man, what is that? Oh yeah, y'all want this right here for flies, bro. If you got a serious fly problem, bro, that's, that works. That kills flies like no other. Straight up. But I ain't really having no fly issue at the moment. That ain't my bad, y'all. That ain't where it's at. Oh, right here in my face, okay. This is it right here. It's two different kinds. Hmm, Dervet or Martins? Who got the better brand, y'all? What you think? They both, this one costs a dollar more. All right, we're gonna go with Dervet. Yes, sir. Muscle up. I tried that before, back in the day when I had uh, bullies and uh, they, uh, I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm uh, I seen some results with that. My dog got bigger with that. No cap. <coughs> Excuse me. Bro, I'm about to go ahead and grab some of this, man. If y'all ain't watched my last video, I use Red Cell a lot, y'all. It's just a, a good product to add to a, a dog that's that may not eat as much or might have some deficiencies. It's just really good to add because. It'll, um, you know, it'll even them out. It'll add the iron and stuff they need and stuff. So, but anyway, let's get to it. Hey, how you doing? I'm fine, baby. I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Gonna be all for you today? Yes, ma'am. Uh, all right, y'all. We at Home Depot. You can see what I came for. This is what I came for right here. Squeezy squeeze. Y'all see that? Shout out to Cook Kayla, one of my viewers. Gave me this recommendation yesterday when I was uh when I was uh what is that? Drying down the mat with the leaf blower. And she was like, oh he, I think, I think it's a he, my bad. 
But anyway, um, yeah, the squeegee thing right here, this is what you can use to get that water off. And it also has this little pad on the back to try to flip it over. So, yeah, man, we rocking with this. It's uh, 20 bucks. And then we got a pole right here. I think the pole is 16 bucks. Yes, sir. Also, y'all, let me show y'all something. <clears throat> oh, there it go right there. See, look, this is the lick right here. 26 bucks. Y'all go to Walmart, you can go to Petco, and this shit is like $30, man, $35, so, yeah, you already know. I ain't never seen this, what's this, carpet cleaner autobahn, okay, yeah, some more, oops, pet solutions, I wonder, hold on, man, I wonder if this would be better. Cause let me show y'all this one real quick. These the, this is why I like coming to the depot for Autobahn. Cause look what flavors they got. Look at the look at the flavors they got, bro. You know what I mean? But yeah, uh, I think this one right here might be pet friendly, man. It's like pet solution, safer choice. Dry 75% faster. What y'all think, man? Should I try this? Spot remover. Yeah, I'm gonna try this, fam. Let's <clears throat> <clears throat> so prepare it. Kills humans coronavirus. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna try both of those, man. I don't use too much of that, but we're gonna try. Alright, y'all. I think we headed back. Oh no, we got we got another AI to do. We're gonna head towards this second AI for Nikki right now, y'all. So y'all stay tuned, man. Let's get it. All right, Bully fam, we at Petco, man. I stopped right here for the homie Deldrick, man. Uh, we got Nikki, he says she's not eating. So what I'm gonna do is grab a couple of these for him. Normally we do these, if y'all didn't know, you watch, go back and watch my video about crack, what I feed my dogs, I feed my dogs crack. Okay, so that's AD Urgent Care. This is right here, Royal Canin Starter. This is like basically the same exact thing as the crack, if you, but the crack has to be prescribed, y'all. You have to get that from the vet. But I was looking at the ingredients, it's almost pretty much the same thing. So if you can't get any uh, crack, AD Urgent Care, get you some Royal Canin Starter. Now this right here, this is new, bro. So as you can see, this says Appetite Stimulation. So this is basically made just for the issue that Nikki is having. So. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of these, man, and uh, yes, sir. Let's get to the next scene, though, man. Let y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, we out here, man. We about to knock out this second AI for uh, what is that? Uh, Nikki Tom's Uzi. And look what we got here, man. This, look at this little dude. This is Draco, y'all. Peanut son, man. Yeah, man. Peanut, yeah. Peanut got kids all over the, the city, man. This is a peanut song. As you can see, he looks beautiful, man. This is a great pocket right here. Great little pocket. Yes, sir, man. Yeah, hold tight, man. Let's get it cracking. Yes, sir. Y'all see it? We here for the second AI, man. Look at that boy Uzi. Come here, boy. Yes, sir, man. Looking real good. Yeah, buddy, that's going to be a nice mix right there, man. Nikki is usually a, a lot bigger than this, y'all. She's a little underweight, but it's going to be a beautiful breeding right here, man. Yes, sir. Y'all stay tuned. We just knocked out that second AI, y'all. Yeah, uh, over here, we got Nikki at Black's Kennels. You know what I'm saying? We also got Uzi at Get Paid Kennels. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all can see. Yeah, blue merlin tan. We got all types of uh, head stacks, you know what I mean? So it's gonna be a crazy breeding. We got her to come with the bony girth, you know what I'm saying? She is a real, real deal she male, you feel me? So 
Yeah, man, it's gonna be a crazy breed, man. We're gonna keep y'all updated. These will be AKC pups, man. Y'all tap in. I'm gonna put everybody Instagram at the bottom so y'all can uh, contact us if y'all interested, man. All right. It's your boy Duffel Bag Nate. Hey, it's the first breed for Uzi. First breed. Y'all about to see how these puppies come out? Jump on them quick. Hey, because I'm selling them fast. You know everything I sell, it go fast, baby. Yeah, you want a stud feed? We'll figure out something, but it ain't cheap, baby. Everything costs around here. Get paid. So yes, we hear y'all. Today's topic. We're here for today's topic, which is um, why do breeders say no pie, no brindle? Okay? Now, you see this female right here. This is Layla, y'all. As y'all can see, she has complete full coat. Complete tan points. You know, nothing on them. All right, so now let's let's break it down. All right, so that brindle gene, the brindle gene and the pieball gene, they kind of like the cream gene and the merle gene. They dominate. You know what I mean? So basically, uh, if you have one or two dogs, you're not gonna really understand how, you know, how can it it can affect your camp. You know what I mean? It might not. It's gonna seem like, cause I used to be, like when I first started breeding, I used to be like, um, you know, what's the big deal? I ain't never heard no, you know, customers complain about uh, brindles, you feel me? Cause when it comes to rehoming a dog, uh, a customer or a new pet owner will never say, hey, I was gonna buy the dog, but I ain't, I ain't wanna do it cause it's a brindle, you know what I'm saying? So. It's just the, the brindle, the reason why, this is a breeder thing, the reason why it has this stigma is because, like let's say let's say me for example, I got 10 dogs. Let's just say they all carry brindle, you feel me? Um, me, um, and, and a lot of other people too, let's say you're trying to comp uh, make a, a complete coat. I'm trying to make a complete coat, I'm not sure about everybody else. So this is what will be considered a, a complete coat, which is a full try with nothing, no issues, nothing, full suit. See that, full suit. 10 points on the eyes, shades on the side, and on the arms, all right? So what y'all have to understand is, if both of your mom and dad, if both the mom and dad, let's say they tries, but they both carry brindle, you won't be able to get this full coat. It's always gonna have some tick speckles on the coat. I'm gonna put a picture right here of an example. It's always gonna have the ticked spots on the coat and sometimes the tan points on the cheek don't show up or sometimes they're ticked as well. Now when it comes to the pie ball, you, you're gonna always have some type of white strip just going through the middle of your coat. Remember. You, you're a breeder for some reason, you're trying to make a complete full suit. That pie ball gene, every litter, every puppy, every, every breeding you do, you're gonna get a white stripe somewhere through. It might be through the middle of the head. It might be on the side only. You're gonna get that pie ball to come and interrupt your full suit. Same thing with the brindle. The brindle is going to interrupt your full suit. Now, if you have a female like this with, you know, that a full a full suit brindle or maybe she just a, a brindle carrier. You breed to a non-brindle carrier, not all the puppies will carry brindle. Same thing with the pie ball. Not all of them will carry it. So then you get those dogs DNA tested and then you find out who doesn't carry it and then you go ahead and that's how you breed that brindle or the pie ball out of your camp. Now remember this guys, the only reason why someone would want to breed brindle or pie ball out of their camp is to get a full suit. They want full suit. You know what I mean? You cannot get a full suit when your dog got brindle. And y'all know you go into the genetics of the try, you know, and the, uh, what is that? The agouti gene and the AT and the AY, which is the fawn gene. Those dogs don't carry the brindle and the fawn, I mean the brindle and the pie ball off top. It can't get mixed in there, but I just wanted to break that down. This is the reason why, man, because I, 
This is the reason why breeders say that. No print, no brindle, no pie, man. Because I saw on Instagram, it was a breeder yesterday. He was like, why y'all even say that, man? I don't even, brindle's still going up, man. Y'all tripping. Uh, I mean, this is not what he said. I'm just trying to basically give y'all understanding where he was coming from. But he was just like, basically, uh, he was like, y'all don't even know why y'all even be saying that, man. Who started this? You know, y'all just following some BS y'all heard. And man, I used to feel the same way. I totally feel you, my boy. I definitely used to feel the same way. But when you get to a level, you know, 10 or more dogs, and they all got Brenda or they all got Pieball, it's really going to piss you off. It's going to be a nice little headache for you. Now, this is in the Frenchie game that this this uh, taste developed, y'all. So, um, I wouldn't, this really don't matter in the bully world. You know what I'm saying? If you are conscious about this and you imp implement this and you're in the bully world, more power to you. That's more of the reason why you can charge more for your dogs. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, sir, man. Don't get discouraged, y'all, if you got the Brenda or Pieball gene. You know, like I told you, there will be no new pet owner that will be saying, hey, we don't want the dog because it carries this gene. They will not care about that. They like the dog, they saw it, they wanted it, you know what I mean? So, but when you get to, you know, you get to a point where you like, I, I would like to just have me some full, uh, full suited dogs without any type of, uh, you know, let's say cream, Merle, Brindle, or Pieball, that's gonna just come completely, insert itself through the middle of the coat. Then, you know, we're gonna go with, you know, no Pieball, no Brindle, you know what I mean? We're gonna continue to make sure that we don't keep breeding that because that's what we, that's what we focusing on, you know what I mean? So, don't get discouraged out there, man. All my new breeders, man. I know you might hear see uh, or hear other older breeders talking about no brindle, no pie, and you know, like I told you, if it come to making money, that doesn't matter. But when you get into like, let's say you're trying to, you know, it's just levels of you breeding, man. You feel me? You set new goals for yourself. You know what I mean? It's, it, you want to go up when you're breeding. You want to step it up. So you know, you're like, hey. This doesn't have any brindle, any pie, you know what I'm saying? This is Isabella. This is, you know, such and such. I just wanted to give y'all, uh, you know, a little clarity on that, man, because it's real easy to make that, you know, for to get frustrated about that, seeing it and feeling like that shit don't matter, man. Why they keep saying that? So, yeah, man, now you guys know it's definitely not a deal breaker. But once you get to a certain level, like I said, you're gonna start to, uh, you know, come up with different things as far as, you know, let's say, trying to get that full coat. You already know that Brenda or that pie ball gonna come in. Same thing with that Merle. So that, that's also another reason why people might not like Merle's. The dominant coming right on top of whatever coat. Same thing with the cream. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna stop talking, y'all, man. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this helpful dog tip, man. Y'all keep doing y'all thing. Shout out to all the new breeders. Y'all keep keep killing it, man. You know what I mean? This is TBK West. Appreciate y'all for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. I'm out of here, man. Peace.
Y'all got this. TBK Young Boy's first time in the pool. He, he like his dad, man. He likes to, uh, he loved his water, man. You could tell he wanted to jump in when we jumped in. We <laughs> Sir. All right, bully film. Y'all see, this is oh, Effie. Bully this is Effie right here. We're going in. Oh! Swim. <laughs> and young boy's like, I want to join the party. Young boy, watch out. We just debunked the myth that Prince can't swim. Come on, Essie, get that exercise in. Get that exercise in. Oh, yeah? Yeah! <laughs> First time two. in the pool, y'all. One, two, three. That's the start now. Layla's first time in the pool, y'all. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 